this story? Cold and rainy night, guy's walking alone, miserable. He walks by this house, all these couples, and they're having a nice dinner party. Guy thinking, I wish I was in there with someone special. Only all the guys inside are going, where's my jacket? I gotta get out of here. Yeah, the inspiration for the story, I guess, comes from, well, initially it really comes from necessity. You know, as a filmmaker, you you have to, um, if an independent filmmaker, to make a movie, you have to make something that's possible to be made on, on very little money. Um, and, I, you know, I was just watching a lot of character films at the time, you know, films just about people and their problems and, and, and sort of, you know, exploring humankind, you know, exploring the human nature of people. And, you know, I was watching a big, a bunch of Woody Allen films and looking around at my life, I figured there's gotta be, there's some stuff going on. I was living with a bunch of, you know, my friends in Austin were very crazy types and we were playing music and staying up way too late and getting involved in the, with the wrong people. And so I, you know, I just started looking around and I saw that there was stuff to be mined from that, that life, that, that time in your life when you're in your, th you know, late twenties, early thirties, trying to figure out what's going on. So I started to write down really just characters. And that's why the film has kind of that sort of structure. That's one person, then another person, and then sort of the group or the, the two people together, because I came up with characters first, not, not a story. The story is almost irrelevant. You know, like Robert Altman says, I, I don't care about story. I care about behavior. And that's something that I really sort of stuck to with that is is the behavior of people's infinitely more interesting to me than a story about this kind of stuff. You know, otherwise you fall into sort of familiar romantic comedy type territory, which I don't I don't like. I much prefer films that are about, you know, things that are around rom romance, like love and loss. But also this movie is about people struggling with wanting to be creative artists of, of a sort and trying to figure out what's going to happen for the next 10, 15 years of your life and planting those seeds, you know? So I, I it's a, a big, a, bu a bunch of stuff. I was so ready to make a movie that I wanted to write something that I could really tackle and dig my, you know, sink my teeth into. And uh, that's where it came from. Yeah. The look of the film is very much something that we came in together to, um, to really plan out. Um, uh, my cinematographer, Brian Koss, who is really excellent. I think he did a great job with this, with the time and resources we had. He really, really did a great job. I know him. Um, we'd worked together on a couple of commercials that I'd done before. And I, he's just a guy that I'd worked with in Los Angeles on a couple of different things. <clears throat> and going into your first film, you really want to have as many um, you know, of your team, people that you're com comfortable with and, to, and have worked with together because anything can go wrong and there's so many too many variables. So we, I had a crew from pe of people that I'd worked with before to come up to New York uh, to make the movie. Um, but the look, yeah, we, you know, again, kind of these movies can be when you have low budget movies about ro romance and stuff, they can be these handheld kind of like going from one person to the next person. And it's kind of this, you can obviously feel like a cameraman in the room versus sort of being sucked into kind of a, a cinematic flow of something. And with that, you know, I'm a really, I'm a big cinephile and I love shots and I love sort of, you know, the kinetic movement of a camera that can be achieved when, when you really, usually when you have more resources and time, but we had four weeks of prep that my DP and I really um, wanted to take advantage of. And we diagrammed everything. We decided on certain ways to approach this scene and break this down so we could have a lot of time to do this and do that. And, you know, the nature of the movie, uh, the title in stereo, it comes, there's something that, that I wanted to sort of explore with regards to perception and perspective, right? Where you stand and where you are with people and, and how things, you hear things and they mean something or you see something, much like at the end of the movie, Brenda sees something, but we don't know exactly what that is. We don't really know. People always assume that he's letting her up so they can go and, you know, be naughty or whatever it is that they think, but... It could, it might not be that. And then what happens at the end is she she sort of floors him with like a question that is, you know, it shouldn't be coming from him, from her. She's a mess herself, but you know, she's saying, "What are you doing to this guy who's like an older guy?" And it's just sort of a repetitive nature of like us. We're always making mistakes and whatnot. But to that end, the look of the movie, I just wanted it to feel much more like um, a composed piece of work versus just a let's get together and shoot a movie. 
though I, I know those and I understand those have to be made because you don't have lights, you don't have a tripod, you don't have, we had a small budget, but we had enough to make a, a, a you know, well-designed film. And I just, I just, uh, I wanted to make sure that it was, it was done in such a way. I need my career back. Maybe we need to rethink our approach. I'm or... trying to get you to rethink your approach. No, no, no. I will not. Let me just explain something else to you, okay, sweetie? You are not that good. Hi, could I have another chai tea latte, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're great. And whatever this viper wants. Now, the only person I really knew before was Bo Garrett. I'd seen her work on some stuff that just, she hadn't quite done something that showed her off. And I knew this could be a, ch a chance to do it. I know she was probably looking for a lead role. So we reached out to her and her agent, her manager responded quickly. She read it the next day we met, two days later we met. We had a great meeting. She wanted to do it. The rest of the casting happened in uh, New York. I found Micah because his manager was incessant that we see him. And I saw his tape. He was great, but I didn't see anything until they sent a short film. The short film that I saw was really, really right on. His tone the way he was funny, but also angst-ridden and dramatic at times. He had it down. Other auditions didn't quite do it like as much as he could say, do it. I didn't even read him, though. I just met with him. We had a great hour-and-a-half-long meeting. I could tell we were making the same movie, and I offered him the role. The rest of them, Melissa Bologna is a great up-and-coming new actress. Kieran Campion, who plays Chris, I think his performance is really excellent. The, the bad guy in the movie, I mean, I think he's really just yeah. really did great. Mario Cantone just comes in for that one scene and, you know, kind of chews the scenery up. But uh, Sean Cullen as the doctor. Sean's been a theater actor forever. Just I got a great team for this. And it's really just because they responded to the material. Uh, I got asked that question just a minute ago from another person. I don't want to edit the film again. I know how to edit and I know that I want something specific, but I don't want to actually just do it again. I can work with an editor just fine, but I did it because it was necessary. It's a small crew, very quick schedule. I did it because I really had to do it myself. Plus a very specific kind of film. You know, it was, it was designed a certain way, split screens, and the ending was put together a certain way. So I knew I could just do it quicker than other editors and, and sort of getting in the way or maybe stumbling or trying something different. I had to sort of just get through it in a, in a very specific way. So I went ahead and did it myself, but happy to work with editors.